A lot of people are saying that information is the most valuable thing in the world. I kind of disagree with this. Let me explain. This is Jessica's van. Last time she was on my channel, she had an idea to get a van and she wanted to experience van life. Right now she's doing it fully. I guess we can say she has clarity on what she wants to do. So the other day I was listening to a podcast from one of the authors who I follow. I think his opinions are pretty interesting. His name is Yuval Noah Harari. He's the author of a book that you might have heard of, Sapiens. It's a pretty good book. I was listening to a podcast that he was on and then the topic that they were discussing in the podcast was clarity. Harari was saying that abundance of information is actually in fact a bad thing for humans. He was saying that we have access to excessive amounts of information with that we also collect bad and incorrect information as well and that not all information out there is actually true and factual which I actually agree there is just so much information about everything not all information is correct um, until you get to the correct information you have to kind of run through lots of information but then while listening to this podcast I thought of something I was like, this is pretty relatable to anything creative. Past few months, I'm becoming more aware that the magic and creativity actually runs through clarity. The projects that I've been completing recently, not only on YouTube, even my client projects, I'm realizing that with clarity, my message is a lot more clear and the process is a lot smoother. So let's talk about photography and filmmaking because that's what this channel is about. Let's say you have a new project that you want to complete. This could be a dream project, this could be a client project. Having a clarity on what you want to achieve at the end of that project, it could be the very last scene or it could be the overall tone of this film that you're creating, let's say. If you have a clear vision of what your beginning, the middle and end will look like, that is all you really need. Of course, you want to make things complicated, but as a foundation, a clear base is pretty important. After you have your clear base, you can build onto your ideas. You got the beginning and the middle and end, and then you're gonna look for ways to connect those three things smoothly. So this is me getting deep into how clarity affects filmmaking. Let's look at it from a different perspective. You might think it's your time to get a new camera. We all have that sweet thought, like there's just amazing cameras coming out all the time. So let's say you're ready to get a new camera and you have a few options. How are you gonna choose the right one for yourself? The way I would do it is I would look at my budget, then I would line up the few cameras that are the option for me. I would do camera A, camera B, camera C, and I would look at the pricing and I would look at what the specs are that are important to me. And then I would line up the specs that I value. Let's say if the three cameras are able to shoot in 10 bits, right? That's pretty important to me. Then I would go to, do they have IBIS? Camera A does, camera B doesn't, camera C doesn't. Then I would look at my third option. How's the dynamic range on camera A, B, C? Then I would take those values and see which one wins and which value I value the most. And that is how I would make a buying decision. You see right there, that is simplifying your options. So in other words, clarity aligns with another word for me. It's simplicity. I'm a really big fan of keeping things simple and I think minimalism is one of the best enlightenments we have as humans. There's nothing wrong with doing stuff that is complicated, such as adding a bunch of crazy shot lists to your films, but build from a simple ground and even within those shot lists have a simple ground within them. And today I'm with Jessica. Just a few months ago she was in my channel and she talked about how she wanted to try out van life. She did have a minivan that she tried it out with and just a few weeks ago she made the decision to actually buy a whole van like this is her life now and it's amazing so she has a pretty clear idea on what she wants to do let's get her opinions on clarity sometimes it's the life lessons that will gain you the clarity but you have to go through them first and you don't even know what they are until they come what happens to so many people is they get caught up in the planning stages and being like i need to do this 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 and this to get me to this end result and I have more recently learned is 
and I'm, I, you know, I'm a goal setter. So, you know, like this is what I do and I'm like, okay, plan everything out. But it's also a sense of control, right? You're like, okay, if I plan this all out and this happens then this will be able to happen and this will be able to happen. But in reality, I don't know about you, Barris, but do things, things rarely go as planned. Like I romanticized van life and then you're like, whoa, that didn't happen the way I expected. So I think when it comes to like the end game, it's about enjoying the process and being in that moment and also being open to whatever that moment is going to share with you because it could steer you off course, but it could be a heck of a lot better than where you were planning to go. But if you have those blinders on to any of those opportunities and are so focused on the future moment and not in the here and now, you're gonna miss out on those. Okay, okay.